Good evening, everyone, and welcome into Wapakoneta High School Gymnasium, where tonight a non-conference ball game between the Wapakoneta Redskins and the New Knoxville Rangers. I'm Dan Hearn, along with Rick Bowersock, and Rick, the Rangers come into this uh, game seven and four. They're in a tough conference uh, over in the Midwest Athletic Conference. They're two and two inside their league, and under the direction of uh, Tim Hagemeyer. They've had a, a kind of a difficult start at the beginning of their season. They're rebounding from that now. Yeah, they uh, had a one heck of a schedule that they had to play start out the season. <clears throat> but I think it's that they're ready to go now. They went through that and did pretty well. And uh, tonight will be very interesting. It's a great crowd, both sides, and it's two really good teams getting after each other. The Wapakoneta Redskins come in nine and five and four and one overall, or excuse me, four and one inside the Western Buckeye League. That puts them in a three-way tie for second place with Van Wert and OG. They are under the direction of head coach Rusty Allen. Their only in-conference loss was to Bath, a team that's 12 and one and five and zero oh in inside the league. So they've played the. Uh, the, probably the best team in the in the league so far. That's their only loss to this point. Right, and both uh, both these squads have played bad. And interesting enough, both of them lost. However, the game was close. So if you look at that, you say, well, these teams are pretty evenly uh, matched up, and I believe they are. The Redskins have won three straight. Their last win coming over Jackson Center, a 56 to 33 win. They held Jackson Center to two points through most of the first half. And in fact, it wasn't until three minutes left in the first half that Jackson Center was able to get some points and finish uh, with eight points for the first half. So they can play some defense. Yes, they can, both teams. The starters are being introduced here at the uh, gymnasium and we'll run through them real quickly. For Wapakoneta, they'll have number three, Matty Stiles, the sophomore 5'2 five, five guard. Along with Sarah Warner, the senior, she's 5'9". She'll also be at a guard position. Carly Buzzard wears number 22. The junior goes six foot. She'll be joined on the court by number 25, Megan Watt, who is a junior and goes 5'6". And then the final member of the Wapakoneta starting lineup, number 35, Riley Culver, the sophomore, goes 6'1", and plays in the post. For the Knoxville Rangers, number three, Haley Horseman, he's a senior, one of only two seniors on this Rangers roster, she goes 5'8". She'll be joined on the court by number five, Kaylin Schroer. She is a junior and goes 5'3". Number 20, Meg Reineke, the junior, 5'9". Also number 30, Madison Lammers, who is a sophomore, also 5'9". And the other senior on this Rangers team, number 34, Peg, Paige Lehman. She goes 5'10", and she's a, se a center for this Knoxville team, New Knoxville team rather. The Rangers get on the board quickly as Horseman hits the three to start Haley them Haley Horseman, you can't give her much room. She's a senior, she's done this for four years, four years starter. She's heading on to Finley to play college basketball. Good offensive rebound that in by the Redskins. We got a two, three, two game. Megan Watt with the first points of the night for the Redskins. Rangers are a good defensive team. They try to hang their hat on that, but the Redskins also a good defensive squad. So this should be a pretty evenly matched game here tonight. The, Red, the Redskins want to push the ball a little bit. The Rangers, if they don't have the break, they're going to be very patient running their flex offense. Three ball on the way, no good. And a whistle and a foul. And an early foul on Haley Horseman. Right, one of the keys that both teams, I think, realize and both coaches realize they can't get their key players in foul trouble and Haley is their key player with one foul another concern both teams had was who can control the rebounding you got some very good offense uh, defensive and offensive players in the post Redskins with the ball Styles has it dishes to the right side Warner tried to move down to the baseline, kicks it back outside. Styles into the lane, nice dish to the left side, off the glass, and two points for Buzz. Nice, nice move by Matty Styles on there. Penetrating, kicking it off to the post. Redskins take the lead, 4-3. Horseman with it, drives to the baseline, kicks it out to the top of the key, and a three ball on the way, no good. 
And the rebound controlled by the Redskins. Redskins looking to push. The ball reversed. Three ball not there. And a whistle and a foul. Really good look. Megan Watt. Have a good look at that three, and she's a good three-point shooter. So New Knoxville will take a timeout here, and the Redskins not rattled by that quick three by Horseman. They have rebounded and taken the lead four to three here early in this first quarter of play. But they had a, uh, the Redskins had two good possessions defensively back to back after that three-pointer. They got up a little closer. I think that quick timeout by the Rangers, uh, Tim Hegemeyer, I think he was a little upset how quickly the, his team shot the ball in a five on five when the defense was back. He wants to take some more time and run his flex and get that better look. So just a couple minutes into this first quarter. Rangers with the ball. Reineke dishes underneath. Lehman throws it off the glass and she'll have her first points of the night. Good reverse move there by the Lehman Grove from the Rangers. Both teams starting out in a man-to-man -man defense. There's a big save for the Rangers. And a jump ball going to be called there. So that'll put the ball back in the hands of the Redskins. For you fans out there, I think it's important watching this game that you watch on the shot. Keep an eye on the boxing out inside and the, and the battles that go on down in there because it's really really pr pretty cool to watch. Both teams are well disciplined and box out and do a nice job. The three ball on the way for Megan Watt. Her shot no good. And the ball will go over to the Rangers. Rangers down with a five to four lead as we close in on five minutes to play first quarter. Reineke with it, underneath Lehman. She goes up for the shot, it won't go, but she draws the foul. Good Riley Culver, the guilty party on that one. Good post up there and a, and a good effort to finish. And uh, Riley Culver picking up the foul, a little bit too much body. Lehman can't connect on the first foul shot. They played in a tournament over the weekend on Sunday, but their game previous to that was against the Delphi St. John's Blue Jays. And Lehman knocks that one down. Paige Lehman with 17 points in that game. That's a game in which they finished with a 21 to nothing run. There were only 19 points scored in the fourth quarter of that ball game, all of them by New Knoxville. Good, Good put back. Yeah, she created her own assist, dribbled around there, nice job, penetrated, missed the shot, but got her own rebound, so. She got her own assist. We're back to even at six apiece. Rangers working underneath the layman again. She makes a move, now kicks it back out. Reineke in the far corner. She makes a move to the baseline, back out to the top. Horseman with a drive. She will draw a foul, but a shot no good. So Maddie Stiles will pick up her first foul. That's two fouls now on the Redskins. Couple of substitutions into the ball game. Kenzie Schroer comes into the ball game for New Knoxville along with Rachel Leffel. Horseman tries the three, it won't go, and the rebound pulled down by the Redskins. Styles takes a dribble to the foul line, kicks it left side. Looking for the high-low action with the, the bigs inside. Skins will be patient, reversing the ball. Move to the baseline, a shot no good for Sarah Warner. Shooting a good percentage is another key. Um, skins are getting great shots. They just. You know, knock a few more of them down. Same thing with the Rangers. 
Warner drives to the baseline and she'll get the one. Her next shot off the glass. She likes to take that ball in there and she's very aggressive doing it. Uh, Knoxville's gonna have to get on the on that right hand and not let her go that direction. Reinecke drills the three. Looking at the stats, I noticed that uh, the Rangers, they've got three or four kids that can hit that three-point shot. And Reinecke is one of them. Styles with it near the top of the key. Just over three minutes to play first quarter. They work it around to the far side, Watt. Her shot no good, the rebound and the putback up and in for Carly Buzzard. Yeah, good job there uh, by Carly following that up. Uh, Rangers didn't rotate real well on defense and uh, she had an opportunity to go in there and get an easy putback. Horseman into the lane, kicks it out. Reineke will try another three off the mark. Styles with the board for the Redskins. Redskins with the lead of the ball. A three-pointer by Warner, no good. And Horseman with the board. He's going to try to go all the way. Ooh. Call a block on there. That's Maddie Styles' second. Important to keep your point guard in the game with two fouls in the first quarter. Now that's going to prompt the substitution here. Megan Fisher will come into the ball game to replace Maddie Stiles. And also into the game, Aaron Schnell. Aaron Schnell will probably be doing most of the ball handling now with Maddie out of the game. Three-point attempt up, no good. Reineke underneath, can't get the shot to go, but then right there is Paige Lehman who puts it back up and in. Not a, not a good effort by the Skins on the, on the screening out there. Rangers take the lead back. It has been back and forth. Both teams staying with their man-to-man -man defenses. Shot by Schnell is no good. Rebound collected by the Rangers. Reineke with it. Takes a dribble, kicks it back to Horseman. Underneath. And then back outside, and the three ball up. No good for Schroer, but she gets her own board. Just followed her shot. Once again, the skins not screening out. Reineke lines up and an uncontested three won't fall for her. Ball goes over to the Redskins. Basketball is a game of focus and uh, we're seeing it from both squads with all these offensive rebounds. Uh, defensively, they have one good possession where they really focus, get everybody screened out and then maybe the next defensive possession one or two of them lose their focus, don't screen out. Good teams will take advantage of that, and both of these teams are good teams. Warner with it. Has that one poked away by Horseman. Under a minute to play here, first quarter. Rangers been looking to go inside to the post. They get it underneath the layman. Nice move underneath. She lays it up and in. She's went both ways, right and left, with that one dribble under the basket, reverse to the other side. And there she is defensively, nearly took that one away. Warner with it now between the circles. Fisher back out top. 25 seconds left, first quarter. And that ball taken away by Horseman. She's on a foot race to the other end. She'll lay it off the glass for two more. Now the biggest lead for either team. There again, two mistakes in a row by the Redskins and the uh, Rangers capitalize. Warner to the other end, takes it all the way to the hoop. Carol Warner going to the basket, here it comes. Horseman pushes it up, she won't get the shot off before the end of the half, or excuse me, before the end of the first quarter. And so after one quarter of play, New Knoxville with a three point edge, you're watching high school basketball on Game Face Ohio. When you see an orange truck, you think GA Windsor & Son Company. But the next time you see an orange GA Windsor & Son truck, we want you to think green. Why green? Because GA Windsor & Son are the original recyclers. Using a modern fleet of trucks, GA Windsor & Son Company collects food co-products from restaurants, food retailers, and food manufacturers in Ohio, Indiana, Michigan, and Kentucky. 
These Food Co. products are used to manufacture quality livestock and pet care feed ingredients. So the next time you see an Orange GA Windsor & Son truck, think green. High-speed internet. TSC offers five high-speed internet packages, and we have one that's just right for you, no matter how much or how little you use the internet. 24-7 free local technical support, and if you require a service call, you'll be pleased to know that we keep our appointments. Bundle your high-speed internet with your phone and cable and save big money with our Emerge plan. Ask about high-speed internet from TSC today. Give us a call and see. It's easy as one, two, three, call TSC. Who do I call? Since 1946, home and business owners have trusted Frost Roofing to help make the best roofing decision for their home, building, and budget. Do you guarantee your work? With an industry-leading 50-year labor and materials guarantee on select certainty and shingles, Frost Roofing has you covered. So what if I decide to move? Frost will transfer this incredible warranty to the new owners, increasing the value of your home. Church home or business, Frost Roofing offers you the comfort of knowing your roofing system is guaranteed by a professional roofing contractor. Haley Horseman dropping a three in early in the game for New Knoxville. They've been able to score on both sides of the three-point arc here so far. Right, Rick. right. But their, their emphasis is to go inside. Rangers with the ball. Starting to the second quarter here. Horseman has it. Redskins going to a little 2-3 zone here. Trying to switch up. A little bit on the Rangers. Rangers just now recognizing it. Horseman with it. She goes cross court. Shore will try the three. It won't go. And Lehman is there to get a hand on it, but it will go out of bounds. Lehman does a nice job of trying to get position, and she really works hard offensively to get the ball. Carly and Buzzard doing a good job boxing her out. Right. Yeah, that possession she really did. Now let's watch to see if she can do it. Do another possession like that. Buzzard has it on the left side, kicks it top of the key. And a dribble, the shot up, no good. It will go out of bounds off of the Redskins. Rangers do a nice job of help defense on penetration, which opens up things for the uh, for the Redskins to be able to get those offensive rebounds. That time uh, the Fisher girl penetrated, made a nice move. Giving us an opportunity of the Redskins, I should say, an opportunity to get some offensive rebounds. Horseman with it outside, into the corner. Leffel goes underneath the Horseman. They kick it back outside, and a three on the way. No good. Rebound there by Fisher. Coming off the bench, gets an offensive rebound, or defense rebound, my bad. Good. Well, they try to go underneath there to Culver, and the ball slapped away and taken away by Horseman. All right, you got to come to that pass, and that's thrown into you. Shore takes a dribble into the corner and Leffel. Underneath Shore, and that one's going to go off her hand and out of bounds. Took her eye off of that one for a second. Yeah, that's just a mental mistake there. Coaches just don't like that unforced error. But Substitutions for New Knoxville as Madison Lawmer checks back into the game along with Meg Reineke. So Horseman, Kenzie Schroer, Kalen Shorter, Shorer, Reineke and Lawmer's on the court for New Knoxville. They lead by three. Redskins got to start taking better care of the ball. Three, three turnovers in the last six possessions. Uh, that's three shots you don't get. At least three shots you don't get. That's the difference in the game right now. Those so, turnovers. Right. So far, both of these offenses have uh, stalled here at the start of this second quarter. 5.47 remaining, and nobody scored so far in this second quarter of play. Underneath they go, and the shot up by Riley Culver, and she is fouled underneath. Just got there a little late, got her with the body. A nice entry pass, good catch. Got a replay on that one, entry pass catch. Had to be the body. One nice thing, uh, Culver. Culver did a nice job there, but she wants to keep that ball up. She caught it and brought it down. That gives the opportunity for the defense to get over there, but worked out this time for her. 
Culver gets one of the two. Redskins need a big stop here. That foul was on Reineke, so. Now they're back to the man-to-man -man defense. And a turnover here for the Rangers. So an opportunity now for the Redskins to tie things up or take the lead. Right, that's two turnovers in a row for the Rangers. So the turnover battle's about even now. So step up out there on the perimeter, you gotta be careful. Three on the way, off the mark for the Redskins. And Horseman comes down with the board for the Rangers. She has the top of the key. She'll try the three and got it. She doesn't need a lot of room. Got to get up on her. So that pushes the lead back out to five for the Rangers with five minutes to play and a half. Underneath they go and Culver off the glass for two. Sarah Warner does a nice job of entering that ball to the post. Get her up on top like that. That's, that's just a good job and uh, they were able to finish inside. Horseman with it up top. Dishes to Shore on the left. Reineke with some space, throws it up, it won't go, and the rebound there by Culver. Good effort by Culver, get that loose ball rebound. Morgan Miller in the ball game for the Redskins. You gotta watch Horseman when she's at the top of the key. She's gonna be looking to intercept that. Shore with some defense, strips it away and then Fisher with a move to the hoop and she traveled. Yeah, she just got a little bit, uh, going a little bit faster than she needed to be going at that point, a little out of control. Lehman and Leffel back into the ball game for New Knoxville. Megan Watt back into the game for the Redskins. And Carly Schneider into the game for the Skins as well. Back to the man-to-man -man defense. They're gonna go inside out. Miller on Horseman. She drives to the baseline, gets shut off there, kicks it to Schroer, who moves into the lane and throws up the floater. She got it. Good move. So the Rangers have matched their biggest lead of the night. Three ball on the way, no good. Rebound is Horseman, and she's done a good job on yeah. the defensive boards tonight. She does it all. She's an excellent player all around. Shot up and good, and that gives the Red Rangers an eight-point edge. Kalen Schroyer with the three. Warner shot no good, the rebound no good. Miller has that one, and then it's taken away by Lehman. Couple more good opportunities to score. Up court quickly, Shorer, and she lays it off the glass for two more. That's going to prompt the timeout as the Rangers have built a 10-point edge. 3.06 remaining in the half, and the New Knoxville Rangers with a 10-point lead. You're watching high school basketball on Game Face Ohio. Owen Kitchen and Bath Showroom has been family owned and operated since 1990. We can help you from start to finish with your entire project. Let one of our professional designers put the final touches on your project. Owen Kitchen and Bath now has two showrooms to better serve you in Wapakoneta and Lima. Owen Kitchen and Bath, cabinetry that will take your breath away at prices that won't. Easiest one, two, three. Just call on TSC. Part of your community. TSC. It's as easy as it can be. Telephone, TV, internet, too. We make it all so easy for you. Locally owned, fast service, and more. We've got what you're looking for. TSC. Give us a call and see. It's easy as one, two, three. Call TSC. Strength is about so much more than the body. It's about being together, serving, sharing, and caring for those around us. It's about keeping score in the heart rather than on a scoreboard. Be a part of a community that builds more than your body. At the Wapakoneta Family YMCA.
Back here at uh, Wapakoneta High School Gymnasium in his second quarter of play. The Rangers in the midst of a 10 to three run. That has given them a 45 to 15 lead with 3.06 remaining in the half. And Rick talking during the break, uh, Coach Allen, some decisions to make here. Yeah, his, uh, you know, he's, he's mixing people up in the lineup. Matty Styles got two fouls. He's not wanting her to get her third foul, but she's the one that kind of runs the show and allows Sarah Warner to go to the wing, and these other girls just got to step up. There you go. Three-point attempt up and good for Megan Watt, and she delivers. Megan Watt's just got to keep shooting. She's open. She needs to shoot it. She's that good. Lehman in the lane, turns, won't go, and there with the board is Watt. Miller tried to drive, kicks it back out to Warner. They go top of the key in a three ball up and good for Carly Schneider. Carly Schneider off the bench with a three. Just like that, six points, Redskins down four. And that's what you hope for coming out of a timeout. You gotta follow that up with a good defensive possession. And a Underneath they go to Lehman, but the pass a little bit too deep. Schroer will drive the lane and gets it to fall. See, that's just too easy, that's just. It's just not acceptable to be able to take the ball and just lay it in. Two minutes to play and a half. Rangers with a six point edge. Still looking inside. Good yeah, penetration. On the left side of the lane and a foul. Excuse me, Megan Watt. Good penetration there. On the foul, see if we can. Set up some kind of out of bounds play here to get us a good shot. Madison Lammer is back into the ball game for the Rangers. The ball tipped and taken away by Lehman. So the Rangers with the ball again. Horseman with it into the corner. Everybody's got to be focused here defensively. Lehman goes cross court. Schroer thought about it. Hands it off to the other Schroer. Know where your shooters are. Rangers being patient against this good zone defense here, this possession by the Redskins. One Run minute to play in the half. Here. Lammers to Horseman. They go to Lehman. Back outside, Lammers thought about the shot, kicks it to Schroer, top of the key. She drives the lane, kicks it back over to Horseman. She's into the lane, throws up the shot. It won't go in the rebound collected by the, excuse me, by the Redskins. Thirty seconds to play, second quarter. The Redskins may want to go for the last shot here. Just kind of standing around, gets the man to man. They try to go underneath the pass a little bit too tall for Schnell, yeah, and it's collected by Lehman. Just wasn't any movement that time. They were standing watching, and they should have got that pulled back out and set something up. Now five seconds left. Horseman with it to Schroer, top of the key. She drives right side of the lane. The shot is no good, and will go to the locker room with the Rangers on top by a score of 27 to 21. You're watching high school basketball on Game Face Ohio. College is getting more and more expensive, and the students of Wapakoneta need help now more than ever to make college more affordable. There has been an organization who has given more than $500,000 in scholarships since 1972, and 19 students in the graduating class of 2013 received a total of $13,000 thanks to your generous contributions. They administer scholarships funded by local organizations. This organization used to be called Dollars for Scholars, but has changed its name to the Wapakoneta Community Scholarship Fund. The fund is asking you to write a tax-deductible donation of $25 or more to provide scholarships for students at Wapakoneta High School. If you want to invest in the future of our city and country, please support the Wapakoneta Community Scholarship Fund. The future is in our students' hands. 
Combine internet, telephone, and cable, and what do you get? Big savings. That's right. With TSC's bundling package, Emerge, you can combine your high-speed internet, telephone, and cable and save lots of money. Watch the convenience Emerge. Watch the great service Emerge. And watch your savings Emerge. So call today and bundle all of your services with the local company you know and trust, TSC. TSC. Give us a call and see. It's easy as one, two, three, call TSC. Halftime here at Wapakoneta High School Gymnasium in a strong second quarter, Rick, by the uh, New Knoxville Rangers gave them a 10-point lead at one time in the second quarter. The Redskins able to whittle that down with a couple of big threes, uh, but they still have a deficit to overcome here. Right. Um, the, the Rangers did a really nice job, I thought, uh, and, and specifically uh, the Horseman girl, Haley, Haley Horseman. Right. She rebounds defensively. She, even though it's a man-to-man -man defense, they do some switching where she ends up staying out on top and matches up with offense, the offense of the Redskins. And if you don't, if you telegraph your passer, she's going to get a hand on it. And there was two or three possessions there where they, she got a hand on the score and they came down and scored in transition. That, I think that's the difference. Everything else has been kind of even. Rebounding even. You know, they... It's just it, that I thought that was really key, and that was when Styles went out of the game, and those girls coming in, they just you know they're they're good players and they're confident, but you know they got to take care of the basketball. And, and the Redskins have their work cut out for them as we start the second half. We'll be back with the second half of high school basketball right after this. You're watching it on Game Face Ohio. Hall of Famer Lou Gehrig, voted the greatest first baseman of all time by the Baseball Writers Association of America, had played in 2,130 consecutive games when his career was cut short by the disease that would soon become known by the name of its most famous victim. ALS, more commonly known as Lou Gehrig's disease, is a debilitating affliction characterized by rapidly progressive weakness, muscle atrophy, difficulty breathing, difficulty walking, muscle spasticity, difficulty speaking, and difficulty eating and swallowing. The Falls Foundation serves patients and families stricken with ALS, provides services to the ALS community, and puts on fundraisers through events such as high school, college, and professional ball games. Sure, you don't need a set-top box to watch cable, but without one, you're not getting everything your TV has to offer. Add a set-top box from TSC to your television and get more channels. Get a channel guide that tells you all about the shows. Run multiple devices through one universal remote, and you can even add DVR and HD channels. Get everything your TV has to offer with a set-top box. Call TSC and ask for your set-top box today. It's easy as one, two, three, call TSC. Back here for the start of the third quarter of play and both teams with their starting fives on the floor to start this second half. Watt will try the three from the corner and it won't go. It will go out of bounds. Last touch by the Redskins. Another so good look. Another good look. I said earlier, they got to keep shooting it. They've had some clutch threes in this ball game. In fact, when they were down by 10, they took a timeout, came out and dropped in six quick points. Redskins coming out in a little 2-3 again. 2-3 zone. You get your hands up. Lehman with the bucket and the foul. And that's, that's one thing the Redskins have had a problem with is finding an answer for Paige Lehman underneath. Right. She's, uh, she's really good at positioning and using her body, and you really got to be good to get your body in front of hers. And it all starts with the footwork and uh, just... Basically, her footwork's a little better than the, the Redskins' post footwork. Mm -hmm. She can't complete the three-point play, but it's still an eight-point lead for the Rangers. Shot by Watt won't go, and Horseman will let it drop out of bounds. 
Redskins seem a little bit impatient right now. Right, Rick. like they're a little bit out of sync here coming out of the half. Not real sure. Lammers with it in the corner. Her pass tipped by Lehman and then ends up in the hands of Horseman. Horseman thought about the three. Reineke, she will take the three and got it. Right. And for Reineke, that's six. All their perimeter shooters, you've got to get, you got to make a move. You can't let them catch and shoot. That pass off the hands of uh, Madison Stiles, and it'll go back up court with the Rangers. That shot, no good. Lehman pulls down the board. Her putback is up and in. Quick timeout by Coach Allen of the Redskins. 5.59 remaining third quarter, and the Rangers have built their lead up to 13. 34 to 30, excuse me, 34-21 here. And we'll keep it here as it's just a 30-second timeout. But uh, the Rangers have been have put together a couple of nice stretches here offensively. Yes, they have. And uh, a little more experience there. Uh, we were talking about the post players, and uh, Paige Lehman's a senior inside there, and you can just tell the difference between her and the Redskins post players who are a lot younger. They're just at that, she's at that other level mentally where she understands how the played in here. No excuses for the Redskins, but uh, it's it's partially fact too. And then outside they got a, they had another turnover down here, and they just got to take care of the basketball and. I liked it when the Redskins were attacking the basket. They've come out this half with more of a perimeter passing standing type thing. So mm -hmm. hopefully they'll go back to that uh, penetration there. Three ball on the way, no good. Horseman there with the board. The Rangers with a 7 nothing run to start this second half. Make it 9 nothing. Horseman, both last two possessions, has got that uh, loose ball and the turnover and then that long rebound. She turns, she turns and goes and the girls run and She's an excellent point guard. Styles and Warner collide on the near side. But able to maintain the ball. There's an example of what we just talked about, you know, a little penetration. That's the first time in this possession that somebody on the Fisher girl, the young freshman, come in and did a nice job of taking the ball to the basket, you know, put uh -huh. a little pressure on the defense. And she's being rewarded with two free throws. She hit the first one and hits them both. So the first two points of the second half for the Redskins come via the charity stripe. Reineke with it. She'll hand it off to Horseman. Lammers with it, top of the key over to Radicke in the corner. Those in their offense, they're going to keep reversing the ball around in there until they can get that post player open. Well, and it's a lot easier to be patient when you have a 13-point lead. Lehman with it, and she coughs it up. Good job there. See, they, they, they stopped her from getting to the basket. Styles with it on the outside. Patience, patience, work it. Styles with it again, this time in the corner. They work it around the perimeter again. Styles will try the long jumper, it won't go. And out of bounds over to the Rangers. I thought maybe that might have been tipped there, but I guess it wasn't. Horseman will push it up court for New Knoxville. They have a 13 point lead with now just over four minutes to play third quarter. Horseman to Lehman. She gets an open look and drops it in. Nice play, nice post player. She can play inside with her back to the basket or step out and hit that little 12 footer. 
Biggest lead of the night so far for New Knoxville. They have a 15 point lead now. Knoxville just playing a little man to man, but they're switching all those perimeter cuts up, up top and it's kind of confusing the Redskins. Couple of subs for the Redskins as Miller and Schneider come into the game. Three minutes to go in the third quarter at this point. Knoxville's looking to push this lead out further and the Redskins need to make a little run here. Schroer into just court. into the game has that one slapped away by Styles, but Styles can't collect it and it'll go out of bounds back over to New Knoxville. Good, good effort by Madison Styles or Maddie Styles, excuse me. That's what you need. You got to get out there and get a little pressure on it, on the basketball. See what we can do here to cut this deficit. You know, it's still doing a good job moving the ball around. They're a very patient team. Reineke will try the three. This time it's no good, and the rebound collected by Warner. See, they just switched that little screen up top. Styles with it to the top. Warner tries the three, it won't go. Rebound up at no, Miller can't get it to go. Nice rebound by Miller. Couldn't finish it off. Horseman to the opposite end and just not. She got lost her feet there for a second. Two minutes left. Knoxville's gonna take some air out of the basketball at this point. To hold on to it here until we get some until they get somebody wide open on a back cut or Make the Redskins come out. A 15 point lead. Run as much clock as they can. Plus, they don't have a lot of substitutes. This gives them a chance to get a little bit of a rest. And uh, Tim Hagemeyer has used this strategy in all the years he's coached. Horseman with a drive to the right side of the lane. She'll throw it up and in. Very and patient, Knoxville has put the clamps on. Excuse oh, me. Very patient and very disciplined. Yeah. New Knoxville has put the clamps on the Wapak offense as they've only scored two points in this third quarter of play and both of those points coming from, this, from the foul line. Three point shot up, no good, and the rebound, Horseman. Good effort there by Warner to swat that one away, but it will go out of bounds back over to New Knoxville. Look for the uh, Rangers did the same thing this possession. They did the last possession. Take some time off the clock. Tim Hagemeyer, time timeout for the Rangers. Going to set that up, make sure that uh, they take one shot. Just a 30-second timeout here for New Knoxville, and they have a 17-point lead now, 40 to 23 and Rick what has uh, New Knoxville done defensively that has so disrupted re the Redskin offense here in this third quarter well not a whole lot they get they are switching those little screens on the back side so when you try to reverse the ball it becomes harder to do and uh, you, you got to react to that and, and when you're being when, when you're switching things you got to do some basket cutting and get some more movement going to counter that and the Redskins haven't done that at this point that's leaves three pointers and the Redskins that's all the shots they can get and they're not making them mm -hmm. that's pretty simple stuff there but defensively they've, they've got to really cramp clamp down from this point on if they're going to want to try to make a run at the end so far the Rangers have outscored the Redskins here in this third quarter 13 to 2 he's going to run the flex offense it's older than I am <laughs> and uh <laughs> He keep running it and running it and running it until somebody makes a mistake defensively and he'll get a layup. Or the last shot, and uh, I'm guessing that uh, number three will, or number four, 34 will take that last shot. Ooh, almost had a steal there. Good effort by Sarah Warner. Horseman over to Schroer on the left. Chalamers and back to Shore. 
excuse me, to Horseman. Horseman will drive the baseline. She'll draw the foul and get the bucket. Yep, they come out and over played her, and she had that baseline open and made a little move. Get another look at Horseman going to the hoop. Notice how she protected the ball with her body and was able to get the body contact and finish the shot. Good job by the crew giving us a second look at that one. Horseman can't get the foul shot to fall. The Redskins will have the ball with just 17 seconds to go third quarter. Styles will have a wide open look at a three and drained it. Knock it down. That's a big shot by Matty. Nice penetration by Sarah Warner on the dribble and kicked it out. Horseman will try to answer at the other end, and it won't go. That'll be the final shot of the third quarter. After three quarters of play, the Rangers with a 42-26 lead. You're watching high school basketball on Game Face Ohio. When you see an orange truck, you think GA Windsor & Son Company. But the next time you see an orange GA Windsor & Son truck, we want you to think green. Why green? Because GA Windsor & Son are the original recyclers. Using a modern fleet of trucks, GA Windsor & Son Company collects food co-products from restaurants, food retailers, and food manufacturers in Ohio, Indiana, Michigan, and Kentucky. These food co-products are used to manufacture quality livestock and pet care feed ingredients. So the next time you see an orange GA Windsor & Son truck, think green. High Speed Internet. TSC offers five high speed internet packages, and we have one that's just right for you, no matter how much or how little you use the internet. 24 7 free local technical support, and if you require a service call, you'll be pleased to know that we keep our appointments. Bundle your high speed internet with your phone and cable and save big money with our Emerge plan. Ask about high speed internet from TSC today. Give us a call and see. It's easy as one, two, three. Call TSC. I call. Since 1946, home and business owners have trusted Frost Roofing to help make the best roofing decision for their home, building, and budget. Do you guarantee your work? With an industry-leading 50-year labor and materials guarantee on select certainty and shingles, Frost Roofing has you covered. So, what if I decide to move? Frost will transfer this incredible warranty to the new owners, increasing the value of your home. Church Home or Business, Frost Roofing offers you the comfort of knowing your roofing system is guaranteed by a professional roofing contractor. TV Friday. Back here for the start of the final quarter of play. The Rangers with a 42 to 26 lead over the Redskins. And the Redskins offense trying to come to life here as they were stalled out in the third quarter. Only able to muster five points. Layman with a move to the hoop. Finds some space and puts it up and in. Well, she nice has move. some good moves. Yes, she does. She's experienced. She's a senior. And uh, she can play. Fisher with a move. Throws it off the glass. Can't get it to fall on the rebound. Pulled down by Reineke. Shorer tries the three. Got it. Wow. When they're hitting on all cylinders, the Rangers are awesome. I mean, there's no... There's no doubt about it tonight, this second half, they are playing some basketball. That shot up no good, Horseman with the rebound. That three by Kaylin Schroer gives her 12 on the night. Good block by Fisher that time on Reineke's attempt. Styles has it poked away, but gets it back. Miller has it now, takes a dribble into the lane, finds some space. Her shot up no good, and Horseman there with the board. Good penetration, it's there. They get penetrate to the hoop. Yeah, and when you have a deficit like this to overcome, that's a that's a chance you have to. Well, you yeah, you got to penetrate because yeah. the only way to stop the clock is get fouled, and make some free throws, and try to get back in it that way. Layman with it high outside takes a dribble. She draws a double team. Thing about trying to catch up against the Rangers is all their girls can handle the basketball on the perimeter. In, the, in this offense, you see it. They'll keep number 34 down in there for the majority of the time. Horseman will drive and throw one off the glass. It's no good. She got a hand on it, but couldn't get her own board there. And Styles will bring it up court for the Redskins. 
Three ball on the way. No good from the corner. The putback won't go as well, but a foul then on the rebound as Miller had position and draws the foul. Yeah, Morgan Miller did a nice job of getting position for that offensive rebound. Created that foul. Miller will have a seat as Megan Watt comes back into the ball game. Leffel into the game for the Rangers. And also Lammers back into the game. On the inbound, Warner takes a shot, it won't go. And Horseman right there for the rebound. She has been everywhere tonight for the Rangers. Yeah, if you just isolate on her a couple possessions, the fans out there watching, just watch what she does away from the basketball. It's obvious what she does with it. But watch how she moves and anticipates. And look at that cut there. It's just the timing of that cut. She didn't go right away because they weren't ready to, to pass the ball. And then she gets, she sees the game and understands it. And with that too, she now has 14 on the night. That makes three Rangers in double figures. Styles with a nice dish. Three-pointer won't go. And the rebound comes down to Horseman again. Shorter thought about the three, then drives the baseline, lays in the floater. Yep, she can shoot it outside, and she made a little pump fake and got the defense to stand up and went right around them. And there was no help on the back side. 4.45 remaining in this ball game. The Rangers on top by a score of 51 to 26. We'll take a break. You're watching high school basketball on Game Face Ohio. Owen Kitchen and Bath Showroom has been family owned and operated since 1990. We can help you from start to finish with your entire project. Let one of our professional designers put the final touches on your project. Owen Kitchen and Bath now has two showrooms to better serve you in Wapakoneta and Lima. Owen Kitchen and Bath, cabinetry that will take your breath away at prices that won't. It's easy as one, two, three. Just call on TSC, part of your community. TSC, it's as easy as it can be. Telephone, TV, internet too. We make it all so easy for you. Locally owned, fast service and more. We've got what you're looking for. TSC, give us a call and see. It's easy as one, two, three, call TSC. Strength is about so much more than the body. It's about being together, serving, sharing, and caring for those around us. It's about keeping score in the heart rather than on a scoreboard. Be a part of a community that builds more than your body. At the Wapakoneta Family YMCA. They saw Kalen Schroer dropping in a three-pointer. And it has been all Rangers here in this second half as they have outscored Wapakoneta 24 to five through the second half so far. That's just a, a good run by a good team. And the Redskins uh, weren't able to hit any shots yet this second half to, at, a, at a high percentage at all. And that's uh, the difference in, in where the deficit comes from. The challenge went to some of the players off the bench here to see if they can get something going. Got in the game uh, number 33 for Redskins, Faith Hensley. Hensley played a little bit in the JV contest earlier tonight. That was a pretty good contest as well. The, uh, the Redskins it actually ended up holding on to win that one, 37-34. Yeah, that was, a, that was a real tight game the whole way. Rangers back in their patient offense here with the, the high flex cuts and off of that screen, and they time it up. They just don't run through there. They wait until the screen is set. It's, they're well coached in this particular 
offense. Three and a half minutes to play. Hillary Bourne also into the ball game for Wapakoneta. That ball nearly taken away by Carly Schneider, but Horseman able to get it back. Nice dish yeah. as she goes down the lane and Madison Lammers puts that one up and in. Unselfish play there. Right. Madison Lammers was ready to catch that ball and didn't bring it down, just caught it and shot it right back in off the glass. Three ball up, won't go for the Redskins. Born there with the rebound, her, her put back is no good and then a jump ball. Really nice effort by by Hillary Bourne there on that offensive rebound, a senior, 5'10 senior. A couple of subs now for the Rangers. Caitlin Magato into the game, and also Abby Lagerman. And Leffel there with the steal. Nice defensive move by Leffel. Styles with a nice job out front on the defense, on the ball. Shorter underneath she goes, and travel there by Reineke. So a turnover for the Rangers. They haven't made a lot of mistakes tonight. No, especially second half. And, and uh, Horseman just kind of took over. You know, she was getting all defensive rebounds and it was his penetrating. She just stepped her game up the second half. And they got some great points off their bench. And some shot, nice perimeter shooting as well. Shot a high percentage from the field. Lagerman with it. Magato backing in, now kicks it back outside Leffel. Under two minutes to play in this one. I like the Rangers, when they catch that ball, they all square up to the basket. To the right side of the lane and putting it up and in is Meg Reinecke. Good pass on that possession also. For Reinecke, that's eight points. <coughs> Go underneath, Bourne off the glass, and she has her first two points good, of the night. Good catch by Hillary there. Caught it, turned, knocked it down. Sure with it in the corner with a minute to play. And a whistle and a timeout. Got to be called by Coach Hegemeyer. And he'll get two more of his uh, players into the ball game. Yeah, that timeout and was just to get his starters out of the game, the, the last two starters. Looks like Jenna Schwederman into the game along with Ashlyn Miller. <laughs> 55 to 28, the Rangers with a commanding lead in this non-conference contest here at Wapakoneta High School. Coach Hegemeyer saying he's got five games packed pretty tightly together in the next few days. They just came off a game on Sunday. They play tonight. They play again Thursday and then Saturday. So Logman shot no good. Rebound by Schroer. Back up and in. Somebody forgot the screen out that time. Yeah, and following up on what you were saying, I think this time of the season, kids like to play. Mm -hmm. you know, they've been through... Uh, November practices, December practices. We're in the middle of January. Let's just go play, you know. Not that you don't, you do have to practice and prepare, but. And a double dribble there for Meg Fisher, a turnover for the Redskins. Good effort by the young Fisher girl. She's going to be a good player. She's, she's got to keep learning, keep learning, and keep her head up and keep playing, as do all the Redskins. Uh, they just they, they come up against a really good team tonight. Yeah, this is a played a really good game. New Knoxville team that has a lot of weapons. They've they've got four girls that can shoot from outside the arc with with uh, good consistency, and, and obviously Layman is their weapon on the inside. And then they got the best point guard in the 
at least I think Northwest Ohio. Well, the Rangers will wind the last few seconds off the clock and come away with a 57 to 28 win. We'll be back to wrap this one up. You're watching high school basketball on Game Face Ohio. College is getting more and more expensive, and the students of Wapakoneta need help now more than ever to make college more affordable. There has been an organization who has given more than $500,000 in scholarships since 1972, and 19 students in the graduating class of 2013 received a total of $13,000 thanks to your generous contributions. They administer scholarships funded by local organizations. This organization used to be called Dollars for Scholars, but has changed its name to the Wapakoneta Community Scholarship Fund. The fund is asking you to write a tax-deductible donation of $25 or more to provide scholarships for students at Wapakoneta High School. If you want to invest in the future of our city and country, please support the Wapakoneta Community Scholarship Fund. The future is in our students' hands. Combine internet, telephone, and cable, and what do you get? Big savings. That's right. With TSC's bundling package, Emerge, you can combine your high-speed internet, telephone, and cable and save lots of money. Watch the convenience Emerge. Watch the great service Emerge. And watch your savings Emerge. So call today and bundle all of your services with the local company you know and trust, TSC. TSC. Give us a call and see. It's easy as one, two, three. Call TSC. Welcome back in uh, Wapakoneta High School Gymnasium where tonight enough, uh, a tough night rather for the uh, Redskins as they fall to the Rangers by a final score of 57 to 28. And Rick, uh, they, they were able to play pretty tight with this team in the first half. They trailed it at the break 27-21. They were cutting into a, what was a 10 point deficit as the half came to an end. But then New Knoxville just shut off the Wapakoneta offense in the second half and outscored them 30 to 7 through the final two quarters of play and and they pulled away as as they uh, went down the, down the stretch there yeah it was uh the second half was pretty much total dominance by the the rangers uh, with their experience at the point guard with haley horseman and a senior and the Paige layman girl inside a senior between those two girls they took over and when we tried to or we i keep saying we but when the redskins tried to get down in there and help then they'd hit one of those little guards on the wing and they'd make a three mm -hmm. you know so everything just clicked for them and it was they were hard to guard and they were hard to score against and, the, and it, the frustration set in and you could see at that point you know that you're not going to come back with a team that Tim Hagemeyer coaches uh, I've known him well enough to, to, t to say that because once he gets the lead and he has the talent he has that you, he's going to make you defend until you make a mistake and he's going to take advantage of it. And that's right. what happened tonight. Now that uh, you, you talk about the play of uh, of Haley Horseman through this ball game, and she really is one of those players that can take over a contest. Oh, yeah, she sure could, like, especially at both ends. I mean, she, she she's very active, deflecting pass, stealing passes. She goes in and gets all the rebounds uh, defensively. Uh, the other girls have to do the screen out, and she has a tremendous awareness of the court and what's supposed to be going on and what's happening. Right, and you just saw on that highlight there, Paige Lehman uh, laying one in, in and, and talk about her play tonight as well. Well, she just has tremendous footwork, and she's uh, not real athletic, you know, but she has good hands and she has tremendous footwork, and she gets her feet in position. Uh, it's hard to get around her because she keeps that position by moving her feet and right. she uses her feet to get position. And that's that's something that our uh, that the Redskins post players are still learning and they'll learn that and they'll be that way when they're seniors. All right. Well, a tough night for the Redskins tonight, but they will try again. They uh, will fall now with the loss to nine and six. They still remain four and one inside the Western Buckeye League and depending on what happens in the other contests in the area, they are tied with uh, OG and Van Wert coming into tonight at 4-1 and one inside the conference. Now they have a tough task to get to the top because Bath is 
five and zero inside right. the conference. So no, they, no, you just got. That's what the Redskins got to play for. You know, they can take tonight's game and learn from how New Knoxville, New Knoxville did things. Right. And then take that. Forget about how you did it because you had a bad night shooting and go with it. Right. All right, our next broadcast will be Friday, January 24th, as Defiance comes in here to Wapakoneta High School to take on the Redskins. That'll be boys' high school basketball for you, and we'll have that on Friday night. For everybody here at the Game Face Ohio crew, and for Rick Bowersock, I'm Dan Hearn. Thanks for joining us, everybody. The final score again tonight, it was the New Knoxville Rangers 57 and the Redskins 28. You've been watching girls' high school basketball on Game Face Ohio.